everyone, I'm going to do another one of these uh, moulds today and this one is the family one and uh, I'm going to do this for my mum. She'd take them all, <laughs> but I guess that's how mums are. Um, I'm going to be using this time, uh, this one's a lavender um, and I've decided, I don't know, you know me, I don't know whether to put some of these um, what are the glass chipping things that I've dyed in a burgundy colour just at the bottom or oh, there's these little shell things as well and when I do my nails I used, I used to make my own flowers um, with the acrylic and these these are some that, um, that I bought there so I thought this one would be some somewhat a bit different than uh, the one I did before with the dried flowers. So I'm going to mix the resin. Then I'll come back when I mix the two because I do like it faded. It really does look nice. And this is the wire. This is only a meter wire, and it has got a thing in that you pull out, and then you just switch it on at the top. And there's your lights. So that's another thing. All you've got to do is thread it through and then bring it out at the, at the end. Uh, it is a bit of a, a nightmare just threading it through because you've got to make sure that you put it, you press it down so that it isn't going to cock up. So I'm going to do that and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I've uh, mixed it. Now uh, what I want to do is obviously make a pale one and a stronger one. So, I'll do this one first. Looks like a bit um, pimpy, pinky purpley. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. I don't want it um, any more than that. So I'll go from that one then to this one. Obviously, I can use the same stick, I mean, as it's the same colour. Like I say, I want this to be um, darker. So I think, <coughs> put another one in, and I'll put another two. Yes, that's better. Hmm, that's a nice colour. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the mould, and then I'll run through it. I won't talk because it's self-explanatory. You don't want me at it all the time. Uh, so uh, I'll get the mould and I'll be back.
So there it is, I had a bit of trouble with that bit up the end, but uh, that is why I say they're very fiddly to do. But now that will stay overnight and uh, then I'll come back and we'll see what it's like when it's dry. Well, I'm back next day. This is all uh, dry now. So uh, I'm going to, uh, as you can see, the lights all work and uh, everything's still all right in there. Um, so I just switch them off and uh, attempt to demold. You know what it's like. Not brilliant. They are so hard to get off. Yeah. Oh, they got to come off. <laughs> One way or the other. Let me just keep pulling. Oh, that come out nice. These don't seem as um, fiddly as the home one. Most they all have the moments, I suppose. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Just finish it off and I'll be back. Oh, there we are. Done. And all my little bits are in there. All the uh, flowers that I made. And they're all inside. Just look lovely. And a, a black background. So that mould now will come in for something else, I suppose. And uh, there it is. Yeah. This is a different resin that I've used, and uh, I'm quite pleased with that as well. It's nice and crystal clear. I mean, let's just move that. Let's see if it looks any different with the gold background. Oh, that's better. You can see it more there. You can see the pinks in there now. Oh, yeah, I like the resin. It's um, crystal clear. Uh, no problems with it at all. So, when people ask me what do I use, I use different ones and uh, I go off reviews. I don't buy anything unless I've read the reviews. Uh, and if you go on Amazon and then just read the reviews to the, to the different resins, uh, you'll end up with one that you like and is easy to use. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next. Bye!